Okay, so Apple is taking no break. Today, Apple released iOS 16.1 and developer beta 1 as expected. And of course, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys what's new with the latest iOS 16.1 developer beta 1. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now as per usual apple has also updated most of their platforms ios 16.1 was released alongside iOS 16.1 beta 1 for iPad or beta 2. I'm sort of confused because Apple already released iPad OS 16.1, but they're naming it iOS 16 beta 8. iPad OS is in a weird state right now. I'm going to call it 16.1 beta 1 or beta 2, depending on what Apple decides to do here. Anyway, iPad OS also received the beta update. Watch OS 9.1 beta 1 has also been released for the Apple Watch. And of course, tvOS 16.1 has been released for the Apple TV. Now this one of course comes in at a larger software download. This one is overriding iOS 16.0 entirely so expect about five to five and a half gigs of a download for the software give or take depending on your device and of course this isn't going to be taking away five gigs from your iPhone It's simply already overriding the existing software with the latest beta. Now if we head on over to about here and we take a look here at the latest build number there it is 20B. 5045D and that's going to be the latest bill number for iOS 16.1 beta 1. So what's new with this new software? I have some great information to share with you guys here for iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 11 and iPhone 10R. You may remember that Apple did not have the battery percentage indicator for you guys and it is now available on 16.1. So now every single Face ID device can enjoy the new battery percentage indicator on the status bar with iOS 16.1. Again, this is going to be on beta 1. So hopefully Apple keeps it around. I'm not sure why they didn't add this on the official iOS 16, but there it is on 16.1. Again, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 10R, and iPhone 11 join the rest of Face ID devices with the new battery percentage indicator. Now there's also some changes to the lock screen. Now I have another iPhone here running iOS 16.0 and let me show you something here quickly. When I go to change the wallpaper and I click on customize right here, a new option appears. As you can see right there, you can choose rather you want to go ahead and customize your lock screen or your home screen individually. So yeah, these new options appear here with 16.1. Finally, I was hoping that Apple will finally bring this to the iPhone. I felt like it was a bit confusing when you went to edit your wallpapers here for the home screen and for the lock screen. And it looks like Apple sort of understood that. And now we have a new option there within the customizing options for the lock screen on 16.1. Now, if we head on over into settings here, I want to also share with you guys a new battery option right here. So charging option, Apple has now renamed this instead of battery health, it's called battery health and charging because Apple has added a new option for clean energy charging, as you can see right there. And Apple is looking to lower emissions when you charge your iPhone. There'll be more information that Apple will provide on the learn more page here, but Apple hasn't really determined anything here just yet because this is beta software but yeah apple has added a clean energy charging option which is on by default i'm gonna go ahead and turn that off for the moment and as you can see right there clean energy charging helps reduce carbon footprint right there it is you can turn it off until tomorrow turn it off completely or cancel so i'm just going to turn it off for now and then enable it once i read more upon this one but of course this is just a quick first look at some of the new features and changes within ios 16.1 stay tuned for my follow-up video that's where i take a deeper dive into the software share with you guys any additional new features and changes within the software which i'm sure i will find many additional new features and changes follow a video coming shortly make sure to subscribe and of course stay tuned thank you for watching guys i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you on the next one peace